punt. No, you can't stay for long, gotta go and get groovy. Added the scope and the stick and the cooler. Waiting on a nigga to act like he's stupid. Dying for a dog with that gun. Ain't better gonna pull it, better gonna shoot it. Think I smoked the boat in the month. Backwoods, eyes out, not run some zooty. Keep the hoe out like a punt. That's good, y'all. No, you can't stay for long, gotta go and get groovy. Added the scope and the stick and the cooler. Another, uh, Waiting on a nigga to act like he's stupid. I saw some black people who's not here. He is not here. He'll be here tomorrow, though. Everybody wouldn't be here not claim my mask and frame bang whatever else top I was claiming. I done seen too many rappers get booked at the show. That's why we be on the danger. AJ said to be buying it. Tell them to chill. That little nigga that had crazy. Sit me out of. Is that Big Rag Green? Like. But anyway. This is a sweater. Ed Breezy, you know, the street said, this, the street said, see, Breezy uh, is the best rapper in the Migos. Like, <laughs> the, 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 um, is... the street said that um, Tupac came from heaven and gave Drake a feature. Nah, that it... If that's true, that's insane. I, I can't listen. Listen, I, I've heard some things about Drake using AI. I haven't heard the song, though, but like. I don't know about. I don't know how I feel about that. The street really saying know. that Jada Pinkett Smith played the song with her legs open, like this is the first part. What? Because the first part is Tupac. She said, "Say it again." She, nah, that's like, crazy. <laughs> they said Jordan versus Shaq was fun. Is it, yo, Shaq, what do you have to say about what, about that uh, before we even start? I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? By the way, what's then, what's then, good, then, y'all? Then, what's good, Chosen? What's good, Dino Bino? What's good, Michael Jeff? What's good, Barry Allen? What's good, Why Me? What's good, Cookie Monster? What's good, Woggle Chrome? You know what I'm saying? What's good, all y'all? You already know. My oh, whole thing what, is... What happened? What you saying about... I, uh, so, personally, I don't idea. rate... It, I think we were talking talking top, ten, top tens in the Discord. I don't rank any of the 60s niggas. And that nigga was trying to say that Bill Russell was better than Hakeem. I, I still don't believe that. And he tried to compare what... Um, what uh, What is good? Um, what um, Bill did to Wilt versus what Hakeem did to the other centers of his era. So... That's that's all that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I still don't have the sixties niggas in my top ten. I barely have in my top twenty. I still think Hakeem is better than Will. I mean, I will. Um, Bill. So, you know. And basically, I definitely a, a, think Hakeem is better. A lot. A lot of his logic was that, like, oh, oh, you see what which called Bill Russell. He held Wilt to this, and he clamped Wilt this, and. I think a lot of that is a little overblown because of the 1962. Because they put 1962, that's the year Will averaged 50. And but then, but then when he played Bill Russell in the playoffs, he averaged like 29 or 28. So he dropped a lot of points. So like a shit ton, like a shit ton of points. And his efficiency dropped too. So he said do, they asked, "Do you still think he doesn't know about basketball?" These, this, I mean, still claiming that 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 that, that nigga Bill Russell better than Keem, you still might. I'm not not know. Like you still might not know. So. <laughs> no, I think for the clap back in the in the, in the Discord, low key, low key. If he's willing, you know what I'm saying. We can send we can send a link and let us know, I, Jordan, bro. It, I kind of have to. Uh, wanna... I have to cook after this though, so that's why. Because I thought that's why I was trying to ask you when we were starting at three because I have to cook dinner. Oh, uh, we can, can do talk it tomorrow. About cooking. Are you gonna cook at six thirty? Like when are you cooking? I know because I have to order. I have to order the food and shit again. So order the food. Cause I remember I used the Wegmans last time, and I got the fucking chicken and the orange shit. And I mean, Yo, Zach, you. pay attention, pay attention, bro. Oh, wait, the, pay the, attention, bro. Like, you, you yeah, this nigga watching the game in the background. I can already tell. Nigga, pay attention, bro. My whole thing is, he obviously he does know basketball, but knowing basketball and then saying Bill Russell better than Hakeem, I, I, I don't know. I don't, know. I, don't know. I, I don't have any of the sixty niggas in my top ten. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't have any of the sixty niggas in my top ten. Dino Bino said it was a fun to play. <laughs> Slander was there. I'm saying the thing is, I was not reading that whole thing. I'm not gonna lie to you, but it was fun. It was funny. Everybody's responses to it was funny. But uh, without further ado, you know what I'm saying we're gonna we're gonna keep we're gonna keep a push. We're gonna move on to uh, react to Drake's Taylor Made freestyle. You know what I'm saying, Drake made another i don't know what to call is it a diss like what did he oh uh, so he so from what i heard he threw shots he had ai tupac so you know jada pinkett smith had her legs open with the uh she had her legs open that's with so the flower nasty, you know nasty, what i'm saying bro. so uh, or the rose the legs open with the roses in the tupac that's what the street said uh so uh we'll see that's very nasty work like said jada's taylor swift made an album and the first song is called Fortnite. oh lord 
She try she trying to get the kids on her side, man. She already has the kids. Isn't she like the most whatever she's artist? Trying to get, she's she's trying to get like the kid kids. You know what I'm saying? She, I think she got like she's trying to get, she's trying to get, like, she, no. She already got the little girl. She wants the little boys, bro. That sounds crazy. Never mind. Never mind. My fault. My fault. Yeah, yeah. She's trying to get the little. She's trying to get the kids that play Fortnite, which would tend to be you know, like young 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 adult male or young males, young males that play Fortnite. Them them niggas, right? So. Cause she already got someone on Twitter said it was trash and got docs. <laughs> I'm not saying. Listen, I'm not saying anything yeah, about that Taylor. I'm not Swift. I've lie. heard it. Taylor Swift. Not don't dox me. Look, Taylor Swift, the greatest artist in the league. The greatest artist in the league. <laughs> don't dox me. Don't Please dox don't me. dox me. <laughs> Nah, man, that's nasty work. I remember when the 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 uh, AI picture was going around of her, and they doxed like three separate niggas that wasn't the guy who posted it. I think Anthony Edwards just got injured, bro. Dog, focus, focus. He got injured. I wasn't watching the game and he got injured. I think. And then he got injured. Then it, then it suffered the Timberwolves. But, I mean, it is what it is. But anyways, Taylor made freestyle. You ready, Shaq? Yeah. Illuminati. Does rise again. You can see it in my eyes again. Oh yeah, you're right. We should have. We can still do it this uh we can still do it Sunday when you see. That's actually what we'll do Sunday. That's a good idea. Kendrick, we need ya, the West Coast Savior. Ain't gravy your name and some hip-hop history. If you deal with this viciously, you seem a little nervous about all the publicity. For this Canadian light skin dot. We need to know the baby West Coast victory, man. Call him a bitch for me. Talk about him liking young girls. That's a gift for me. Nah, Heard it on the button. This is nasty. Talk about <laughs> call him a bitch for me. This is so nasty. He's, uh, did you hear what he said? Uh, he said he says he said tell him that he liked young girls or some shit like that because it was the Drake <laughs> pedophile allegation. I mean, I mean the thing is, if Drake trying to use that as a thing, like, oh yeah, I know about those allegations, nigga. It's still gonna hit hard. You <laughs> can say that in the district. Like, it's not gonna be like. I don't know why he said it's gotta be true. They told me to spare the spare the belly is alive and the nigga under five foot five, so it's gotta be you. I would beat the whole fucking game. It was me and Snoop Dogg had my fucking shirt off in the house of blues. Can you gotta fuck this nigga, girl? He gotta get abused. All that shit about burning tattoos. It's gotta be that jail talk for real thugs. You gotta be you. Gotta leave this motherfucking broken and bruised before we really what? lose. What? You asked for the smoke, now I seen you. So, for instance, the nigga that did Kendrick's AI had to rap like Kendrick. This nigga's using Tupac's voice, but he's rapping like Drake. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, like, like, I mean, it is Drake rapping. I know it's, it's Drake, it's Drake he, he rapping. Didn't do the AI shit. Like at least with the Kendrick shit, the nigga like looked, he like examined Kendrick's songs and tried to rap like his flow and his style. That nigga Drake said. Uh, that. Nigga said, "Why Pac though? I mean, Pac is one of the people that Kendrick looked up to yeah, to the, the point West where West. at the end of To Pimp a Butterfly, he has like a conversation with them, like in the interview." But he, he actually used a real interview to have the conversation with him. This nigga Drake is just creating AI shit. Like, I, I don't know how I feel about this. I'll be honest with you. Like putting words in other niggas mouth is from AI is kind of crazy. But I, it is what it is. It is what it is. They said, is that glaze? Oh, yeah, it was crazy glaze. But Not, I, I, it made sense in the context of the Put to Pimp a Butterfly album, though. To be fair. We we already heard this from Drew. Drew doesn't really like Pac. A lot of niggas, a lot of rap niggas, grew up on Pac and they love him though. So I got I got to respect yeah. Pac. But lyrically, Pac isn't like that. But lyrically, he's 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 pretty average. Yeah, it's like, but but in terms of like what he was saying, like what he was saying made a lot of sense. So. You too busy for the smoke, I won't lie, the people confused Now you about to get this shit another week And fall back to home, girl, but run the numbers up I would have refused For these industry relationships, she not in your shoes You supposed to be the boogie man, go do what you do Unless this is a moment that you tell us it's not really you In that case, there's nothing left to say, I just pass it to snow <laughs> hold on, hold on. He said, "Unless this is the moment they say that it's not really you." Is he trying to tell? He's trying to tell him to cop a plea like J Cole. This nigga, bro, catch yeah, not copping a plea, bro. Listen, I'm not Drake, lie, you crazy. took my whole Drake, thing is my whole thing is Drake trying to get Kendrick to respond so badly, but he took three weeks to respond. Like my, we can give Kendrick at least three weeks before we my whole thing is on. like, why are you why are you taking shots at J Cole? Wasn't that your nigga? 
It's just oh, me. Oh no, and that's not his. That's not his. That's not his. Why are you taking shots at Cole, bro? Like what the that's, fuck? That nigga was. With, he was. He was with the ops. You heard academics. That nigga was rapping with the ops. He was on the future album. Remember? I know, but he, I. I don't think he knew. Like he's low not, key, Drake could have go. Drake could have went way harder on J Cole. I can't lie to you. If I was Drake, I'd have been way more petty than this. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. They said to be fair, Drake was on tour. You know that uh, Michael Jackson recorded "Beat It." on tour like niggas record shit on tour all the time like that's not really no, but i guess recording and recording a song on the tour thing is the thing is you can, you can you can you can michael jackson recorded a whole album on tour drake know, has recorded but, albums but, on tour but, but that's different like than, that's different than you going in the war with somebody getting information on them like oh, no but but that but that's what i'm saying though my whole thing is like drake took three weeks kendrick could take three weeks I, i'm giving him that three week grace period so three weeks is like that's after that's the first week of May. It's the first, yeah, first. that's the first week of May. He has till the first week of May, and then I'm gonna start looking at Kendrick a little crazy. But until then, he has until the first week of May, bro. What the fuck you really got to do? We passed you the torch at the House of Blues, and now you got to do some dirty work. You know how to move, right? Right. I know you've never been to jail or with jumpsuits and shower shoes. Never shot nobody, never stabbed nobody, never did nothing by letting no one. Pause, it's pause, the pause, homies pause. that empower you, but still, pause, you gotta pause. show this fucking. As I listen to Ken Kendrick, doesn't say he's a street nigga. He never said he'd been in the jail. Like what? So why is Drake saying that shit? He said, "I know you've never been like." And he said, he said, uh, fighting the Avengers while on tour is crazy. Kendrick just has Drake. He's not fighting the Avengers. He's only fighting Kendrick. Rick Ross, listen, if he was fighting all these niggas, Rick Ross is, he would have had to respond to Rick Ross. He doesn't because he's actually not fighting these niggas. He's just using these niggas as a saying 20v1, that's the bar. And then he said, Metro, shut up. That's, that's easy bars. They're actually just fodder. No, if so you I'm, really think about it, I have, a, I have a question for you, Kareem. So, is has Kendrick ever claimed to be affiliated or gang or like, like a gangster or some shit? Because why? Because why did Drake say I, I, like? No, nah, no, nah, he, no, nah, he. Because why did Drake so. say you never wore a jumpsuit and had shower shoes? Like that's like prison shit. Like nigga, like if if Kendrick never claimed to be that shit, that's not really a diss. I don't, like, no, even a good kid, Mad City, he never claimed to be that. He just said he grew around it, grew up around it. That's why he's a good. Good uh I'm not gonna lie, Drake. That's, that's kind of weak. Like saying city. you didn't wear shower shoes, you weren't in prison. Like that's like what okay. I mean. I mean the thing is he said snatch and change and burning tattoos. That's a bar, bro. But that's not like <laughs> you that's not you shouldn't be taking that like literally. Like that's him saying, like in a in hypothetical in a rap metaphorically, he's snatching chains and burning tattoos, bro. No, I, I don't bar, bro. but the but the, but uh, the whole metaphor the whole shit with the whole like the, the like you never done it is like you're not a gangster nigga. yeah and, and good kid mad city he literally tells niggas he's not a gangster i don't think grew up I, my, my whole thing is i personally i know i know and he's not actually talking about prison i know he's talking about you're not about that lifestyle but i never i, ne I never took kendrick as a nigga to be like i'm a tough nigga i'm on that lifestyle i never took kendrick yeah me life. neither that's why he's so, like he's he's a conscious nigga like I, I didn't expect i don't think he's like going around like behind uh closed doors put it put it hits on niggas like I, I just don't think that's what he's doing so i don't know they said uh they said uh what's it called where is drew i mean when when have you seen an actual video of him taking chains and burning somebody's tat like bro drake has said a bunch of shit that he actually doesn't do like it, it like let's be whoa, honest whoa, both no, sides no, do the same thing no 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 taking chains and uh, didn't he say that and look like that he said no like that shit yeah, I know snatching chains and burning tattoos, but but what I'm saying is that that's that's a metaphorical thing. That's like that's like in, in the rap way. Like, come on, this nigga Drake says a bunch of shit that that he doesn't do, but it's still hard. Apparently, that nigga top five is Drake shooter. That this is Toronto shooter. That nigga got hands. But but we have but we haven't heard we haven't heard of anything he's actually done. Like like niggas talk about that nigga Baka not nice, but like let's be honest, like niggas they don't really do shit, bro. I don't know who like, I don't know the, OVO OVO niggas be chilling, bro. It is what it is, bro. They be chilling in Scarborough. What is it, Scarborough? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, come on, bro. Like, it's it's cool. Like, I allow Drake to say some shit. I allow Kendrick to say some shit. That's how rap goes, bro. It's 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 basically they use hyperbole, bro. We know this. I don't know why you're taking things literally on one side and then on the other side when Drake says some shit. It's cool. You gotta be you gotta be uh level with it, bro. You gotta take them both uh metaphorically. 
but uh, let's keep let's keep listening. In house, who's boss on the west? Now's the time to really make the power move. Cause right now it's looking like you're writing out the game plan on how to lose, how to bark up the wrong tree and then get your head popped in a crowd of room. World is watching this chess game, but are you out of moves? Dot, you know the VOG never fucking doubted you. But right now it seems like you posted up without a clue of what the fuck you about to do. Yeah, um, that's the truth. I'm definitely about to come around the lane gang and let my fucking bow move. Shitting on you niggas from a whole different altitude. <laughs> High up in the sky like I'm how we do. you niggas from a whole different altitude because he's talking about Pac was in the, it was yeah, uh, said, yeah, pocket, yeah. yeah I guess. Said, I guess. He also said the whole he said the whole bow move shit. That's nasty. That's yeah, nasty. yeah. That's yeah. Bow movement. Like I mean, that means he the bow movement is cause he's shitting. Yeah, they, I know the shitting, but like that's just na that's yeah. nasty boy. I just don't like that boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not for you. It's not for you, Shaq. My niggas is crazy. I don't know. Shaq, what, what, what if, uh, what if, what if you meet a joint, but she went to Dubai? Like, what are you telling her? What joint went to Dubai? Like, like I'm just saying, like, what if you meet a tough joint, but she went to Dubai? Like, are you, are you looking at her different? Like, what is her, what is her, what is her occupation? Like, like, yeah. Like, oh, like, oh, see, her occupation. She Instagram model. Oh, it's up. It's up now. We. <laughs> <laughs> you she said nah he's from the hood but it's all fake bro you can Who's be from the hood and not like, like i don't know who that is bro nigga said what happened in dubai well there's rumors that uh instagram models uh go to the instagram dubai models strippers porn stars they go to dubai and they get shitted on for a couple hundred k so <laughs> they get like and it's like actual shit so it's like the dudes don't even want to fuck them it's like actual shit oh my god because apparently they get off they get off on like defecating on bitches which i don't they said they said where is drew drew d ask drew nigga we don't know where that nigga's whereabouts at yeah. all times but i don't he have his location stream, on my like, phone. and he said he could so he, it is what it is like he said he'll stream tomorrow though he'll be here tomorrow nigga said maybe i should go there yes actual poop bro yes, yes they actually actual poop, poop on you for money <laughs> actual you, poop. you understand dude these these niggas in dubai they have so much money <laughs> that they've had they fucked and had sex with so much time so they start doing weird shit there, there was a there was a uh, uh ig message of an instagram model talk show like she showed it and like she, apparently like it was a camel he got a camel to shit on her like it is some no, no 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 he had it, to it is shit. what it is no bro. no it wasn't a camel he had to get it she had to get a camel off so she had to stroke the camel's meat yeah, okay whatever that's that see, like it, <laughs> like i don't know what the fuck's going on but yeah like the nigga, nigga just gonna talk and shit is personal for him to him uh, who, wait, who are you talking about? You talking, talking about Drake? I think he's talking about Drake. Are you like an no? OBO it's fan not or? a no, no, no. It was just an IG model. No, 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 no. no. So it was a conversation, him. and she was talking to yeah. a nigga from Dubai. She was like, "You're gonna please yeah. me. You're gonna please my brother. Then you're gonna please my camel." That's what that's what he said. <laughs> and, and then, then Nick, she, there's no video. It's, it's and, not and on then video. She, and then, then she asked, like, "What do you mean, please your camel?" And he's like, "How you please me and my brother?" <laughs> that's very, like. That's that, that but camel anyways, got lucky that day. I don't know. That camel that, got lucky. We're, we're, getting, we're getting on a crazy tangent. That, said I'm not going to lie. That's Star Platinum, you're vile. <laughs> you're vile, bro. I'm anyways, not going to lie. You give, you give the buzz up to the nigga. You give the buzz up to the brother. And then you go to the, then you go to the, um, the barn. And you give the buzz up to the camel. I don't know. They, the camel in there. Oh, like, I don't know. That shit different. I can't see. <laughs> you don't even know a camel sound. I don't know how, how camels make noise. noise. I don't know. Oh my god, anyways. The first one really only took me an hour or two. The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you. But now we gotta wait a fucking week. Cause Taylor Swift is your new top. And if you about to drop, she gotta approve. This girl really about to make you act like you not in a few. She tailor made your schedule with Ant. You out of the loop. Hate all you corporate industry puppets. I'm not in the mood. I love it when you niggas talk loose like I'm not in the room. Since like that, your tone changed a little. You not as enthused. How are you not in the booth? It feel like you kind okay, of that's removed. Hard, that's you trying to let this shit die down. Nah, 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 not this time, nigga. You following through. I guess you need another week to figure out how to improve. What the fuck is taking so long? We waiting on you. The rest of y'all are definitely involved. Y'all getting it too. Soon as you get the courage to drop, I'm out on the loose. No, Drake's part is real. This is actually Drake, Drake. Drake's part is real. He just Drake's used the part AI is real. So he said, he said, you're not as enthused. He said, what's the fuck? So take taking so long. We waiting on you. Like he's trying to get. He's clearly trying to get a response out of Kendrick. But like I said, I'm gonna give Kenny. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give Kendrick his three weeks. Drake took he three also, weeks. He, he also comparing, three weeks. comparing him to his label mates. Like he's talking about Taylor Swift. She is hard. She is hard. But he's trying to say like Taylor Swift's more gangster than you. Like she the big boss at Interscope. Which 
I stat guess. Wise, I mean, whatever. He got the numbers. Taylor Swift. I, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, but he's stat wise, she's more gangster than Drake too. She she sells more than literally everyone. Like that's like like that's like a whatever bar. But the whole thing is like, this nigga said K dot not a real nigga. Yeah, K Kendra got two more weeks exactly. He said K dot not a real nigga. You heard it here first. If <laughs> if a real nigga, if a real nigga means you're shooting niggas, then that means Drake's not a real nigga. He, like. Drake was on Degrassi as a kid. This uh, nigga you know talked. If you if you see you know some what? of his King old Ball interviews, real like, nigga. King Ball real like nigga. I knew it. I knew like, it. like like I, like if you think if you think uh, what a real nigga is like is just a nigga that was in the street shooting niggas and putting hits on niggas, then I guess King Von is your your favorite rapper. Then like I, I don't know what I don't know what you want me to tell you, bro. Like I don't I don't know why you're saying I'm not that. Not gonna lie. So the only real niggas is King Von, Lil Durk, T, all them niggas, real niggas. All <laughs> all <laughs> niggas real like niggas. like what are we talking about? I'm not bro. gonna lie. Who shot? See shot a nigga in the ass. Real nigga. Real nigga. Real, real nigga. <laughs> <laughs> real nigga. Tay K on the race. Real nigga. That's funny. Lil Lil, Lil Durk. Real, oh, nigga. real nigga. Young boy. Real nigga. He's... I don't know. All my ghosts. All my ghosts. We heard that, but who? My whole thing is, who did we hear it from? I agree. I agree with you. This kind of does hurt Kendrick, but I will say it didn't come from Kendrick's camp that he had a he had a diss waiting for yeah. four years. That, that sounds that, like that, something Drake put out so that Kendrick so that Kendrick has more pressure on him to respond. And I think that's an insanely smart chess move from Drake and Drake's team because because they're putting pressure on Kendrick. And they're not giving him really the time to yeah, create to, a diss and a rebuttal fair, to that specific track. To, but to be fair, I so I, it is a smart chess, but I think Drake truly believes that Kendrick has been plotting on his downfall for a minute. I think he truly believes that. I think he well, no, obviously they've. I think they've both been plotting on each other's downfall. I, I honestly do, and I think that this is why Drake is so like enthused about this. That's why Drake is like, yeah, we got to get this shit done. You know what I'm saying? They said, look at Kanye, uh, Kanye's uh, recent tweet. Joe Button, Joe Button doesn't really have a connect with Kendrick. Like nobody really has a connect with Kendrick in the music industry, other than some some DJ that they said DJ Head or some shit. I don't know who the fuck that is. But Joe Button is also he just speculates. But if you listen to what Joe Button said today, he said that he doesn't even care when Kendrick responds. That's what he said. So, I mean, I'm giving him three weeks. This nigga Joe Button said it, it's like it like he doesn't have to respond until he responds and he's just gonna he's just gonna wait until he responds. I'm to not me, gonna I lie. Think, I think Kendrick should have if another weeks, bro. A, a video came up of Kendrick doing like pull ups in uh New York or some shit like that. I, I don't know where he was at, he was doing pull ups on some shit. It was like with a fan, he was doing pull ups with a fan. If another video leak of Kendrick doing exercise workouts outside, nigga, why aren't you in the booth? I don't think I don't think that's I don't think that's recent, but okay. They no, said look at Kanye's latest tweet. Uh they said lol now niggas ain't connected. I mean, the only nigga that we know is specifically connected to Drake in the in the media is is DJ Academics. Like it's not Joe Button, it's DJ Academics. It's like Joe Button, he kind of knows a little bit from both sides. I'll say, I'll agree with that, but I don't know if he he specifically knows if Kendrick actually has a diss track ready. Oh no, Kanye West said you listen to J Cole. He said no, and he got he's getting head. That shit funny as fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll send hold you on, the link. I'll, I'll, send, I'll send you the link. I'll send you yeah, the link. just just send the link. Just send the link. But let's finish. Let's finish this uh, track before. Uh, yeah, shout out to Taylor Swift, biggest gangster in the music game right now. You know, I moved my album when she dropped. I said that already. You know, she got the million. I'm do a million rock on your head top. Bro. She got the whole PG Lang on mute like that Beyonce challenge. Y'all boys quiet for the weekend, like. I, I know you in that NY apartment. You struggling right now. I know it. <laughs> in a notepad doing lyrical gymnastics, my boy. You better have a motherfucking quintuple entendre on that shit. Some shit I don't even understand. Like. <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting on you. I'm not gonna lie. You can say you better have a quintuple entendre. Listen, that nigga, that I will Drake. say, I will say, this nigga Drake, he's doing all he needs to do. And I also say, this nigga Drake, he might get the Taylor Swift fans on his side. If he gets the Taylor Swift fans on his side, Cream Kendrick's not gonna win. He's what not. Taylor Swift dissed Kim K for what? I don't care about that shit, bro. The Kim K not like oh, what's going on? Why? What, my whole thing is why is everybody on the music industry on smoke now? I'm not like, gonna it's lie, crazy. it started with Cat Williams, nigga. Stop 
Stop playing with my nigga. <laughs> Cat Williams, that is true. That nigga made the entertainment industry go crazy, bro. But uh, this is what Kanye West posted <laughs> on his Twitter. <laughs> JK Cash said J. Cole about to apologize to Ye. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if J. Cole and Ye got in a battle, that Ye, I, I feel like J. Cole might actually be on smoke this time. I don't know if they're actually friends. Why did, maybe why J. Cole be like, on smoke? I don't why, know. Why did, Hopefully. why did Kanye take a shot at J. Cole? Like that's not like that's the nigga that niggas don't like. I don't even know, bro. Kanye said, you listen to J. Cole, niggas said no. <laughs> he said niggas that don't listen to J. Cole. I'm not going to lie. That, that Drew, don't listen to J. Cole get pussy. Drew, Drew, where you That's at? Drew, funny. you said you're a boy sitter. Drew, Drew. <laughs> Drew, always, Drew always gone when his goat falters, bro. Every time that like something wrong happens with J. Cole, he just knows not to be here. Like it's actually crazy. I got a real, I got a question for you, Drew. Is he gonna, is he gonna bitch out of this camp? If Kanye keep on taking shots, then he gonna bitch out, Drew. That's the real question for you. <laughs> nah, if Kanye beats Cole in a in a in a diss battle, is it's up for Cole, bro? I can't lie. It's my my whole thing bro. is though, is, is especially Cole, this Kanye. Is, this is Kanye Cole, is not. My whole thing, Kareem. Do you think is Cole even gonna respond to this, or he gonna be like, I'm on some, I'm on some positive nigga shit. I just wanna fuck it, nigga. I'm gonna be just on that shit. Like. Nah, Kid Cash said Drew ducking more than Kendrick. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Listen, they said uh Kanye being a fake pastor was the funniest era. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Kanye is lost. If he comes through and actually cooks this nigga J. Cole in an actual rap beef, I'm not gonna lie to you, J. Cole. You're sliding down the rankings even more, bro. Cause that nigga Kanye, he's washed, bro. Let's be honest. That vulture shit, it was not hard. That shit was not hard. That shit had like maybe two good songs on it. <clears throat> but anyways, that was Taylor Made Freestyle. Uh, Shaq, what do you what think? Mean? So it's not an actual huh? diss track. It's like a bait. I don't think it's like an actual diss. I think it's more or less like he's just trying to bait the nigga. I think for a song, it's funny because we're waiting for Kendrick's response and Drake can just drop like kind of like mid shit. Just trying to bait the nigga. So that, that was very mid, but it's like for what it was, it was like definitely unserious. He took the AI approach. He definitely was unserious because all the niggas claimed his first shit was AI. So I think I, I'll give it like a, a, a six or a seven because it's not supposed to be a serious record. It's not like a it's not like an actual if this was his actual disc, yeah. it would be like a four or a three. But it's not a, it's not it's not a serious disc. So. Yeah, yeah. This is not an actual disc. This is him just telling Kendrick nigga hurry up was taking so long. And honestly, I don't know how I feel about the AI Tupac in uh ai snoop but i i mean ai snoop at least snoop can come can can get online and say well that's not me uh putting words in another nigga's mouth to me is kind of crazy regardless but i mean hey man what i guess whatever it takes but I, I, me personally i wouldn't i wouldn't take that route of putting words in another nigga's mouth especially a dead nigga's mouth that's kind of wild they said imagine jay-z using a fake uh biggie voice to diss nas Niggas would have torn down the Macy, the Marcy project. <laughs> I, I'm saying, like, I, I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about that. But it, it is what it is. All right, next, the next one though that we gonna we gonna listen to is uh, weakest link. Apparently, this one, this is the real diss track. Now, if you guys don't know, Quavo and uh Chris Brown have been beefing for a minute. Have been beefing. Yeah, for Appar me. Apparently, I've seen this shit because I watched the Crew League games, and Qua and uh, Quavo won the Crew League, and then Chris Brown won two years in a row, and Chris Brown was all like, bring your bitch ass out here, Quavo. I thought he was talking about basketball. That was like 2021, 2022. I thought he was talking about basketball. He actually don't like this nigga because apparently they fucked each other's bitches. I don't know. It's always the bitches within the industry, bro. It's always the bitches, bro. It, it really is. It, the Karuti, Kar apparently it started... It started with the Karuchi, like that's what I know. It started with the Karuchi Tran, you know what I'm saying? She she went with uh with Quavo and Chris Brown was mad about that. You know what I'm saying? So uh now and Quavo dissed him talking about that. Now this is Chris Brown's response to Quavo's diss song. So we've already reacted to Quavo's diss song, uh I think it was like a week ago. But now this is Chris Brown's response. So let's just let's just listen to this. Now we can settle this like you got some class, so we can get into some gangster shit. Hey Chris, I don't want no issues, bro. I don't want no smoke. I don't want fights. I don't want to do nothing, bro. 
Is that actually Quavo? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with Hold me? Whoa, 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 whoa. That's Quavo? I think that's actually Quavo. That's what niggas are saying on Twitter. It's actually, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a this ain't, now this ain't no AI. I don't know. I, I mean, you don't even. <laughs> nah, nah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it as I'm gonna take him at its word. Let's just say it's Quavo. They said Quavo. yes. Nah, this Quavo I'm not is crazy, lie, bro. Quavo. If this is true, and you know you sent this, and then you just this nigga, you're a bit like you knew this was his comic. Like you knew this was. Coming. <laughs> hey man, maybe Chris Brown did something to say for him to snap. He said, "You know what? Fuck it." <laughs> Niggas, I don't want no smoke, bro. <laughs> That's funny. Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with C? Who wants Who want smoke with me? Who want Okay, let's get down to the facts. Pussy, I'm dripping red. Don't let this on be shit fool. You niggas get ripped with shreds. Quavo, hold on. Nigga, you a bitch with dread. Can't wait to see the day that you back up all of that shit you said. What's all that ball shit you talking? You ain't no huncho, nigga. You the weakest link out of your quick. Let's keep it a hundo, nigga. You fuck my ex, ho. That's cool. I don't give no fuck, little nigga. Because I fucked your ex when you was still with a bitch. I'm up, little nigga. They say revenge. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Nah. Quavo, sweetie, Quavo, sweetie. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Ho everybody? I, I like. Cause didn't sweetie fuck Offset too? You just fuck every industry nigga. Sweetie. No, no, no. This is this is crazy. Cause I'm still stuck on the fact that Chris Brown is rapping and this shit is hard. He also called him a bitch with dress. nigga. How how you let everybody fuck your bitch, Quavo? <laughs> Nigga said, huh? <laughs> Take off did not die for this. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Chris this is Brown. crazy. I knew you could fake rap. I heard look at me now. I know you could fake rap. I didn't know you had this. That's what I I heard look at me now, but it was some soft rap. It was like, oh no, 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 Hey, what did say? Oh no, this. Like, I remember that shit, but like, this is like, he's rapping, rapping. My, my and it's whole good. Thing with this? Quavo, so does everybody fuck your bitch? I'm not everybody. Your homies ain't enemies. F oh, niggas folks, was taking oh, oh, turns. Niggas. Phone him. Phone him. Fuck your bitch, Quavo. No, nah, that's crazy. Everybody, everybody was saying. Everybody was saying. They they saw. They saw sweetie. They was like, yeah, on the low. I, we know. We know. She with that nigga, uh, uh, Quavo. But low key, she's on go, nigga. She's green, nigga. You got that, nigga. I'm like, that's that's crazy. That's actually insane, bro. <laughs> You said Chris Brown in the big three. You hate to see it. Over Jake Cole, <laughs> over, I'm not gonna lie. Jake, Jake Cole from North Carolina. Chris Brown from Virginia. Chris Brown, Virginia, North Carolina, kind of close. Maybe they should substitute a light skinned nigga from the south. Maybe they should oh no, I don't know. That's why we're Ed Breeze. Low. Ed Breeze, hey. I don't know. Like, I, <laughs> Chris Brown said these low Jose key. Bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. This this better than the uh the, the diss track J Cole deleted off streaming bro <laughs> already he coming with more more energy and vigor than that nigga bro <laughs> to be to be to, to be fair Ed Breeze uh, he said hoes ain't loyal and he fucking niggas hoes in the industry he know he know for a fact I mean he he already knew he already knew he, yeah he knew they said fact. J Cole yeah J Cole uh, apology did disqualify him that is true. I'm not even gonna argue with that. We want that one. That shit was weak as hell. So nigga, you the weakest link out of your click. Let's keep it a hundo, nigga. You fuck my ex ho, that's cool. I don't give no fuck, little nigga. Cause I fucked your ex when you was still with a bitch. I'm up, little nigga. They say revenge is sweet. Now think about that shit. Don't let that line go over your head. I might just sing about that shit. I had a feeling about that dude. There's something sweet about that mean? shit. I got some tears about that. He said, Hold on, what? He said revenge is sweet. He said revenge is sweet. He said sweet like sweet. Oh, sweet. That's how niggas know it's sweetie. Yeah, okay. It's and he said don't. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. That's funny. That's funny. That nigga, that's Loki a, a bar. Revenge right? is sweet? Yeah, that's yeah, that's a bar. That's a bar. He say revenge is sweet. Now think about that shit. Don't let that line go over your head. I might just sing about that shit. I had a feeling about that dick. There's something sweet about that shit. I got some tea about that bitch, but I ain't gonna speak about that shit. I ain't playing chess with a checker player. I'm a ticking bomb on a detonator. I shit on niggas. I'm a defecator. I put amigo Hold on the ventilator. Stop talking about beating girls. You was beating bitches on the elevator. We seen the taste. That's devastating. You doing bad. You a bitch. What? You got music trash. Actually, nigga, this nigga, this nigga Chris Brown. I'm not going to lie. Chris, this I'm fucking with you. You won this round. I saw the video. 
of what Qua- Quavo didn't touch Sweetie, bro. I, no, no, like no. You, this is, not like you. No, no, no. <laughs> Say, this is just nasty work. Niggas going, you know, going band for band on beating women. What's I'm going on? Like, the thing is, it's <laughs> talking about bro, what is, is going on, so bro. I re-saw the because people were reposting the clip. Sweetie did, Sweetie's the one that, Sweetie did actually tried to fight him. Quavo didn't raise his hand or Sweetie, bro. Not like Chris <laughs> Brown. Chris he Brown smashed hands, Rihanna. He, he, Nigga, he did it in two different ways, bro. I can't lie, bro. Nigga, nigga, nigga did that shit in the illegal like, way as well. After this, after this song, we can look at the, the people were posting the elevator video. I really looked at the shit. It's all good. I, I really... He didn't, he didn't, he didn't swing on her at all. He didn't, he didn't even slap her. He just kind of pushed her off. Like she was the one that was the aggressor. I'm not. Gonna it, lie. It, it, it's good. It's good. It's good. A uh, diss record cap though. I can't lie. It's good. Dis, <laughs> diss Chris, track cap. Chris. Chris. <laughs> You sure you can her shit, Chris? I don't know. <laughs> that nigga Chris Brown. Chris. Now, I mean, there, there's the reason why there's that meme where niggas wake up as Chris Brown. <laughs> Chris. And they say they finna hit a bitch. That's insane. I'm not gonna lie, Creed. We play Smash Bros. He hit her. He he, he hit her with a smash attack. Oh no, he hit her with a, he hit her with a smash attack. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Against. Against every character that's a woman, that nigga gets a power boost by ten percent. I'm not going. <laughs> I'm, I'm not in Pokemon. In Pokemon, there's something called rivalry, where if you're a different gender, you get a power boost. I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't that know. nigga, that nigga got rivalry times two, bro. That nigga, his attack speed gets gets uh get gets two times faster, bro. <laughs> what, that what nigga's weaving we weaving ability five percent quicker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Tekken, that that Tekken, Tekken, that, that Chris, you hit it with electric wind god fist. You hit it with an electric wind god fist. Oh no! <laughs> nah, that's insane. That's insane. <laughs> electric wind god fist. Oh, that, no. that, nigga, that nigga, that nigga, hit her with the reuse. Haruken. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, that's nasty work though. That's nasty work. That man, Chris, 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 you're wrong for that, bro. You're wrong for that, man. Think he's chatting. <laughs> What? Can we just acknowledge like the imagery of, of Quavo being being a fellow Glizzy Gladiator? Like I just noticed the uh the picture. <laughs> Can we talk about how me and Quavo are part of the same Glizzy Gla- Gl- Glizzy Gladiators and Anonymous <laughs> fan club? Like like we love hot dogs. Like Kareem, you also Kareem, you gotta join the club, bro. We know we know what you do behind No, Christmas. no, I'm not a part we of the club. No, 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 that's listen, listen, listen. There is there's this, and then there's actually like why is he like why are you taking such a large bite of the glizzy? Like nigga, just take a normal bite. Look, look at the I don't know, bro. He got relish on that. This, bitch. this, that's the reason why Sweetie was cheating on that nigga with everybody else, bro. That nigga, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Hey, I put amigo on a ventilator. Stop talking about beating girls. You was beating bitches on the elevator. We seen the taste. That's devastating. You doing bad. You a bitch in your music trash. Fashion week, they set me next to your lame ass. I was truly mad. All I kept thinking about was breaking your face, but I gave you a pass. You lucky I ain't want to fuck the money up. Boy, I would have broke you in half. Quit trying to be tough. You ain't like that. Why you keep showing off? Quit talking about drugs. You the only pack that I've been smoking on. I just hit my plug. Told him come back. I'm going to need more than one. Your last album was a weed trade. Just some bullshit that we roll up on. Because I think uh, there was a rumor that Chris Brown was on cocaine or some shit, and and it, I think uh, in in um, Quavo's diss, I think he said something that, that that Chris Brown be on coke or some shit or drugs or some shit like that. So that's why he said, "Stop talking about drugs. The only drugs I do is I'm smoking on you." Type shit. So Kanye West made it like that remix. I mean, we could listen to that. Is that out? Uh, what's it called? I guess I don't, I don't know. We we can see what that's what, what that's about. <laughs> yes. Are they yes. Saying, no. Yes. No. 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 The nigga who relates to this cover is Shaq. No. Shaq, if you know, if you know, if you know Shaq on Discord, he has a literal picture of Floyd Mayweather eating a glizzy. That's Shaq's yes. like that. Shaq. I like that's hot Shaq's, dog. Uh, Kareem, you're, you're no, no. Different. Shaq, you ate a glizzy that was going out of two oh, sides of the bun, Kareem. bro. Two sides. Listen, both Kareem. sides of the bun. It was. It was. It was protruding Kareem. from the bun, bro. Sure. I need you to stop we now. Listen. We can bring Jim on. You bring your younger sister. It was a Fourth of July. I was at their house. 
We can't why? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you name? No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Why are you first of all? Why are you name dropping niggas that have nothing to do with Jim this? knows. And then Jim, no. Bushmaster knows. Bushmaster knows, bro. Nah, this Bush, is crazy. <laughs> this is Bush, crazy. Bushmaster knows. Hey, Cash, you're out of line. You're out of line. What are you? No. Dude, are you no, not going to acknowledge this comment? The, I don't care about the bun. I just, but, but it's whatever. But, green, so you green. eat it, you eat glizzies without the bun. No, I like buns. No. What, uh, no, uh, no, no, no. Bushmaster. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Shaq, Shaq. We got it. No, no, no. Shaq, Shaq. Shaq, Shaq. Whose buns do you like? Like, is no, it? Nigga, shut up, nigga. All right. <laughs> oh, we're getting on this one. No. Jim <laughs> and your sister saved you two hot dogs. You gotta dogs. answer the you question. Like you like you, you like, like hot dogs, Kareem. See, we there was a Fourth of July cookout. Nigga said it's like okay to dogs. just eat the, no titty. <laughs> no, no, we're not nah. changing this. Bushmaster. No, no, yes, no. You're chatting. You're actually just chatting. No, but we have real is, questions Bushmaster for you. Is here. Bush, Bushmaster. That's Jim. That's his brother. He knows you. He saved no, you. No, listen, listen, listen. You're just chatting. He's that, not. No, no, he no, wasn't no, no. Oh here. God, he I'm didn't checking. say anything. He's not here. He didn't say anything. That's like that's what I'm saying, bro. What is he talking about? Going from the glizzies to the buns is insane. We have to, we have to and talk Drew, about no, no, this. No, this is nasty because Drew was here. Because Drew, Drew Drew drove me home that day. <laughs> Drew's not here to save you, nigga. Why are you doing that shit, bro? You ate the glizzy, bro. She, your sister and Jim saved you too. I never, I never, and you never see me eat it. Because she saved you because you didn't eat it here. You ate the this burger thing, and, and Drew, and Drew also got Drew also got his own allegations he got to beat. Because he, he went to, he, he invited me to go to a glizzy spot. To, to, I, I don't know. And he that. went there know. himself. I so he also that. has some allegations. So I don't, don't pull that, that shit on me. Would, I, I don't know nothing about him inviting you to a hot doggery. I don't know nothing about that. And I said no. I, I said I'm know. good. But Drew remembers. I'm just saying. Your sister and Jim saved you two hot dogs, Kareem. He saved you two they hot dogs. Didn't say, they didn't save me anything. Shut up, bro. And they did. I, like no, this is this is just chat. anecdotal evidence. Tell Jim. But we know. We, off in the chat. Tell off bro, in the chat. he he's busy. He's actually doing something. He's not. He, <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't show up on your whims, Shaq. Like, well, who are you? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, Bush. Uh, for niggas that know, Bushmaster is Kareem's brother. He remembers this story. Bro, he and he never. Said, he never said any. He never said anything. You got to get him to say something. He never oh said anything God. about okay, this. Okay, okay, okay. But okay. let's keep listening you to this Quavo shit because this is enough. You're, this is enough about. This is enough Drew's about Glizzy. You're not gonna hide from this Kareem. Drew remembers. Listen, I, you can you can talk about it. It is what it is. You already talk about it. Nigga said that's what I'm saying. You got to beat the Glizzy allegations, Shaq. I like hot. I like is. Lizzie. I like hot dogs. They're, they're, I like bratwurst. I like chorizos. I understand that. I just, but like what, what I'm saying is Kareem is also he's a Kareem is a is a shy Glizzy. No, listen, Kareem listen, listen, glizzy. listen. Gli li listen, listen, listen. The whole thing about Glizzies, if it's Fourth of July, I might eat one. But Nigga, I'm, not like a, I'm not like I'm not like a crazy. To. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I'm, I didn't have to. I didn't have to. I didn't have to. I, I, I'm not like a crazy Glizzy eater like you are. You on random date. You posted in a chat. About the glizzy that you were eating, and it was going out of two sides of the bun, bro. You, you are on a different level. You're, you're on a different level. You're on a whole nother level. Like, like you're on a whole nother level. But bro, that's what I'm eating, saying. Bro, How bro. did we get here? Bro, all right, all right, it's because right. of the. It's because of I Quavo's picture. Cream, you're glizzy most improved. You're definitely glizzy most improved, bro. Like, right. no, 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 no. Shaq, Shaq, Shaq. You're the self. You're the self uh, described as the glizzy gladiator. You get what I'm saying? Nigga said, you said, <laughs> he said that is all gl glizzy child. We found you guilty. That's fine. But listen, Drew remembers it's, you will oh never, God. listen, listen, you will never, you will never find a picture of me doing this shit ever. It, it's, it doesn't exist. Never find a picture. Never you, find a video. I get, board. listen, no, listen, listen, Shaq, 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 Shaq. You be chatting. But glizzies are part of your main I diet. I know, but you're. I, that's how they're I not part of my no, like. They're no, not part of I my can't, main can't, diet. Like that's what I'm saying. Like like they're a nigga that can't come to the truth that he loves glizzies as well. I I know it. I don't I love glizzy. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't love glizzies. That's that's, that's the whole thing. I don't love them. You love them. He's We're trying to project. We're guys, 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 he's trying to project, bro. We're Don't listen to him. He's tomorrow. trying to project. We're, we're he calls himself the glizzy gladiator. That's him. Look, there's we're, we're finding out from Drew tomorrow. We're finding out from Drew tomorrow because Drew remembers his story. 
Drew, Drew, Drew will just say the same thing you said, but there's no actual evidence. Yeah, you don't so have Drew evidence. Like you right? actually don't have evidence. Nigga, talk about slog. Listen, it doesn't matter. Listen, listen. <laughs> I've never swallowed glizzies in a closet. Like, bro, what are you talking about? Nigga said y'all both need glizzy therapy. Shaq needs it more than me. I don't need it. I could go without it. Shaq, on the other hand, cannot go without glizzies. Like it is what it is. Let's That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all do don't understand it, man. He's been the Listen, I, all I'm saying, all I'm saying, my whole thing is, Shaq said he he likes glizzies. Then he said he liked the bun. And then I asked him, which bun are you talking? Whose bun are you talking about? Nigga said I can't respond to that. What do you mean you can't respond to that, Shaq? What do you mean? This nigga, he's gonna deny allegations to the cows. Come on, we gotta wait for no. Wait. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you Drew. mean? We gotta wait for. Drew. What do you mean? Yeah, no, listen, you said on the 4th of July. I said, I said, yeah, I ate, I could eat a glizzy on the 4th of July. That doesn't really matter. It's the 4th you of had July, two, nigga. They saved you. you just, I didn't have two. You you, no, no, no. Drew never actually saw me eat anything. And neither no, did you. Didn't you. Eat any, no, you didn't eat any hot dogs. You ex oh, oh, see, no, you never no, saw me eat anything. No, so this is just no, your speculation. No, 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 That's what I'm trying to no, tell no, you. No, no. These niggas are liars. No, Don't listen to them. No, no, They're liars. He's no, a liar. No, no, this man is a liar. No, I'm trying to tell you. No, this man is a straight no, up liar. No, no, Come on, no, man. He's trying to bring me into his shit. I'm not part of that shit. What are y'all talking about? Come on, man. Nigga, I can't believe us. No, listen, no, listen, listen, no. King Cash. You that said that you like glizzies without the bun. I remember that shit, bro. You need to chill. They saved you two hot dogs, bro. They saved you two hot dogs. We got the food and left. That's listen, listen, Shaq, Shaq, Shaq. Just because somebody saves you something doesn't mean you need to eat it. What are you Nigga, talking you about? I didn't eat it. No, I did not eat it. They saved you. They Anyways, saved you. what's good, MJ? Let's finish. Let's finish this diss track, bro. It's we're not getting anywhere with this argument. Let's finish this diss track. This man Shaq loves to talk about Glizzy so much, bro. He always brings this shit up every single time. Yeah, like that. Why you keep showing up? Quit talk about drugs. You don't pack that I've been smoking on. I just hit my plug, told him come back. I'ma need more than one. Your last album was a weed trade, just some bullshit that we roll up on. You know what's on, put you to bed. Night night, that's to the fed. Show me that I'm tender, bitch. Trying to prove what you just said. RIP, <laughs> take off. He the only real one that got true respect. Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. Oh, shit. You tripping, Chris? Don't say that. Nah, don't lose crazy. your head. You done turned a big bad wolf. You heard that? Yeah. You said that uh, when Offset died, niggas wish it was you instead. That's crazy. Not Offset. Take off. Take off. My fault. Niggas said this channel is not real. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Niggas, niggas, niggas just chatting. But this nigga said he'd rather, everybody would rather have Take Off Alive than Quavo. I don't know. It's over. It's over women. Yeah, it's always over women, bro. It's over two two women, you know, talking. That's, that's, why, that's why niggas died. That's why fucking King Von died because he was messing with, I think, uh, one of the young boys or something like that. It's just dumb nigga shit. Bro. Yeah, it's always over women, bro. Like if it's if it's rap beef, ninety nine percent. Like I'll say ninety ninety percent of the time, it's over a woman, bro. <laughs> niggas said beefing over Glizzy is crazy. What are you talking about, bro? No, nobody's beefing. No one's beefing here. We Shaq, learn. What's the score? We uh, seventy-one sixty-seven. Minnesota's up. Anthony Edwards came back. He just got hurt. Sixty-seven. Anthony Edwards got hurt in the second quarter and came back. He like stayed out into the and he came back in the third. Cat actually all hooping. Right. Cat, Cat is five and nine. He's actually hooping. All right, all right. Now uh, focus on the track, bro. Focus on the track, bro. We were the Show me that I'm tender, bitch. Trying to prove what you just said. R.I.P. Take off. He the only real one that got true respect. Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. Oh, shit. You trippy, Chris. Don't say that. Don't lose your head. You done turned a big bad wolf on these fuck niggas. Never knew revenge. This what happens when a fuck nigga push a real nigga out to the edge. This what happens when a dumb nigga get fame and it get to his head. You gon' kiss this ring, nigga. Big fuck you from my middle finger. I tattoo my trigger finger. Bring real beat to your dinner table. My mental state ain't never stable. I know this shit gon' stick. Nigga, I ran your ass through the ringer, nigga. You just got body by singing, nigga. Bitch. Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? That's hard. That's hard. That's the same shit that Drake said. Who wants smoke with me? But he's actually, he's actually a singing nigga, though. That, that, now that's hard. I can't lie. What are you giving this disc? What are you giving this disc? I think just, I think it's like a 7.5. The niggas saying I'm light skins lie. up. I, I, th I thought it was a 7. It's, I didn't know. Chris Brown rapping hard. I've actually heard this. I like 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 hearing that he's actually rapping. I gotta get this an eight because I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Chris that's Brown. the thing. That's the thing. I didn't know Chris Brown could rap. It, it actually, yeah, they can say I five nine is Chris not Brown, 
Like, like he raps, he rapped, he rapped on Look At Me Now. He faked it a little shit with T Grizzly, but I never heard a nigga rap like this. So, yeah, I never heard him rap like aggressively like this. This is kind of crazy. They said unrelated, but it's Booker selling. Booker is selling. Yeah. Booker is he's three of ten. He's three of ten. He's he's three of ten. Damn, that nigga's. Bradley, I Bradley told you that nigga's not hard. I told you, no, bro. No, no. But the thing is, it's different because because Katie's hooping. Katie's listen, tennis. listen, Bison, Bison. You talking about light skins up only for a short amount of time? I'll give you Chris Brown. That nigga's probably gonna beat that nigga Quavo. I have no hope in Quavo. I can't lie. I don't know. I still got. I still got some hope in Kendrick. I still got some hope in Kendrick versus Drake. I also. Who who else is who else is up? There's no other light skin that's up, is there? Uh, the, Jason Tatum. No, that nigga's not up, bro. Watch. <laughs> 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 just just watch, just watch. Also, look, Devin Booker's down too. His stock's down too. It's an eight because of the disrespect. That too, I agree with you. Cause cause uh, saying that he's the one that uh, niggas wanted to die is is that say nigga, niggas say that he should have died is kind of crazy. And then on top I'm of that, I'm not gonna lie, Rudy Gobert playing well. He hit sweet. Uh, cream, cream. It might be up on Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert playing well. He hit a, he hit a, he hit an and one fade off the glass. I'm not, that, that, that's, yes, yes, yes. And he's at the free throw line. Yes, yes. That's what we like. Yes. And one fader off the glass. That's not Rudy Gobert. It was like from the high school. That's not his body. That's not his body. It's not his body. He did it though. And he made a free they throw. They said, Terry, stop. <laughs> oh, yeah. MJ's, a, I forgot, MJ, you're a KD stand. It's just Katie's game one, relax. Bro, this nigga Katie. loves basketball, King Cash. If you don't know, in the Discord, this nigga had a three-day argument. I'm talking about Shaq. He had a three-day argument with a nigga in Discord, and they were writing paragraphs against each other about who was better, Bill Russell or Hakeem Olajuwon. Like, they, they really love basketball, bro. Now, me personally, I didn't read any of that shit, but I got the synopsis. So, you know what I'm saying? That nigga, Devin Booker, he's selling. I can't lie to you. It's bad. <clears throat> Devin, Devin Booker, Devin Booker, part of the Light Skin Association. Okay, but we have that. we have Carl Anthony Towns hooping in the playoffs, and Rudy Gobert hooping. In, yes, he's five and nine. Carl Anthony Towns, he's hooping, he's hooping, he's five. They and said nine. Lakers still winning at all. I'm also rooting for the Lakers, bro. I can't lie, I'm also rooting for the Lakers, man. LeBron got to win one more, man. Shout out to LeBron, man. LeBron got to win one more. Get get the Nuggets out of here. I'm tired of seeing that nigga Jokic, bro. I'm tired of it. It's been too many years, bro. He's about to win another MVP too. That shit's nasty. They should have given it to Luca or something. They said uh, Booker's selling hard. The Suns need to keep running the offense through KD instead of Book as they were the entire season. To be fair, what, what quarter is it? It's it's a third. It's a thir late third. Oh, it's just fourth. a third. To be fair, okay. Of all like outside the Celtics, the Minnesota has a shit ton of wing defenders like Jaden McDaniels, which call it Nikhil Alexander Walker. Uh, Anthony Edwards, they're all switch. Booker tries to get switches, and it's another nigga that can guard him. So <laughs> he's no, so he's just ass. <laughs> no, 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 no. They have no, no. I I know what they're saying. They're I know what you're saying. Defenders. It's just it's still team. funny. It's still funny that a nigga gets a switch and he's like, oh shit, he gets another switch. Oh shit, like <laughs> nigga, at that point you're just ass, bro. You're they have your number. You're the not doing thing, anything. The, the only niggas team. he could bake are like Anthony uh, or or like Cat and Rudy Gobert, but they're making sure they don't switch with him. They switch with like. Like like niggas that can stay in front of yeah, them. Yeah, I mean that's the whole plan. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna drop. They're gonna do drop coverage, and then the point of attack defenders are gonna run around the screen. Yeah. They have a lot. Anthony Edwards, the kill Alexander Walker, and Jaden McDaniels are all elite wing defenders. They're all elite wing defenders. So. Oh yeah, what what was that thing you were talking about? The Kanye uh like that. Remix? Apparently, Is Kanye that, West uh... has a like that remix. I, I heard that was a rumor. I didn't know that it actually dropped. So. Oh, let's see. Oh, I mean, if it's there, it's there, but I, I didn't know it actually dropped, so. Oh, he did it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I did do this, uh, like that. Let's give me out. Yo, God, I got you. Oh, oh, yeah. Respectfully, yay. Hold on, Shaq, pause it. I was just looking for it. Apparently, he posted on his Twitter. This shit doesn't sound hard. Oh, my God. Okay, I want to give you the On link. his Twitter? Yeah, I'll give you Yeah, send the link. Are you going to work, George? No, I caught up. You got homework or something? On his Twitter is nasty. Nigga, this shit don't stop. I'm not about this shit. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. You heard yeah, three yeah. seconds. Maybe a tease up. Maybe a tease up. But, it's fucking. But Kanye's been washed, bro. He's been washed, bro. So I'm not surprised. Yeah, yeah. 
And he's got Justin LeBoy with him, like respectfully Justin LeBoy. So that nigga glazes Kanye. So I don't know. Who's Justin LeBoy? You don't remember the Justin LeBoy, the light skinned nigga that we talk about? If your bitch don't do this, and the, he's like a he, he be capping for the rich nigga, bro. That's that he part of Light Skin Association too, bro. What's going on? No, but he's just glazing Kanye because he's. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> I think it just he he's just a glazer. I, I understand. You you always got one of those. You always got your one of your uh DJ academics. Oh your mic is starting to um your mic is starting to uh be buzzing. Really? Yeah. It's still fucked up now. Oh yeah. yeah. Up. Hold on, give me a sec. I gotta buy a new cord, bro. I thought you bought a new cord. Different cord. All right, it should be good now. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Or no, it's still there. All it's right. like lower, but it's still there. I just look. No, I was. Fo- it's like it's lower, but it's still there, bro. I mean, that's pretty much the best it's gonna get, bro. For now. All right, all right. It is what it is. It's 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 really low though, right? Yeah. Okay. I thought you got a new wire cream. I thought you got a new wire. It's 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 a different wire. Well, the one that connects to the computer is not the same as the one that connects to the power source. It's two different wires. Okay. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and listen to this uh, uh Kanye like that remix. That's what it is. But I did do this uh like that remix though. I think that's what you was wanting to lead oh, into. Oh shit. shit! Let me see. You got the um, like that remix. I don't believe Gay jumped on the like that remix. You know we had to get the hooligans up here. We're gonna take this pussy nigga out. Yo, Dot, I got, I got you. Oh my god! <laughs> you hearing it first on a download! <laughs> Just a boy respectfully yay, nigga. Oh my god, it's up. <laughs> nigga, it hasn't even started. Why is he gl- bro? Oh. <laughs> I don't that's Who what is that bro shut up like it... he's like a oh. fake thing. can't stop won't stop I just fucked your bitch in the Sean John tank top that shit back no I had to get the hooligans up here Nigga, it was one line it was one line <laughs> it was two lines it was two lines what do you mean run it back it hasn't even started who is that guy oh, bro? Run, stop run it him, bro he's a no, a, this is nasty. He's a, this a, is a, very nasty. It's a pretty beat muncher. This is crazy. Oh. Yo, Dad, I got you. Wow. wow. It's some out. real Avengers <laughs> shit. When Ye come on some shit. Oh, it's really up. Oh, it's really up now. Bro, oh, all right. Awesome. When Ye come on some shit. When no. they come off, I'm not, nah, they do it too. I'm not gonna lie, this nigga got his his dick far up his throat, bro. That's insane, nigga. Shut up, nigga. Let, Let us at least listen the to the song beat. Hasn't even happened, That's what I'm saying. The song hasn't even started. You, he, he doesn't even glaze correctly. Because if you're glazing correctly, you at least let the song run for a little bit. Then you say it's hard. You don't say it's hard before it even starts. Otherwise, niggas not even gonna believe you, bro. What's shut up, bro? Oh my god, bro. This shit nasty, bro. Maybe maybe he tees up. Maybe he tees up. I can't even tell. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. If you like Can't stop, won't stop. I just fucked your bitch in the Sean John tank top. Mm. I treat a bad bitch like she average Whoa. I treat a bad bitch like a bad bitch like She'll never let me get money again <laughs> oh, oh my, my cat God. when they really get money again Yeah, you see they Nah, 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 nah. Nigga said just get it from YouTube, enough glazing. This <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, what? Bro, I don't even think it's on YouTube, though. I look, it's. I don't think it's there. This nigga will move shut up. That I can't hear the yeah, the only, the only uh thing that's on YouTube is, is the... uh is this video that's it so this is the only thing that it's that's there bro this nigga's just bro tried to count me out i like that we just hit a number one we right back i hunted down on the one. bottom 500 up at the top titanium grill call that smile on the front i done had everything that you're able to get i ain't been a drill too i ain't gonna lie it was chopped 
Another one, wow. buy you one Then it's two and three Vultures on the road Yeah, 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 yeah This nigga glazing way too hard He said D, uh, DX lap posted it Okay, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna see I'm not gonna lie, shit This, this shit not as hard as I don't know, yeah, yeah, might be cooked Yeah, he might be cooked, this shit not hard Okay, okay, okay. I, I got it. I got it. Let me see. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks, bro. Because this shit, this shit was getting on my nerves. Oh, my God. I don't know what the fuck this nigga was on. I Actually, I do know what he was on. He was on dicks. That's what he was on. That nigga was on his dick, bro. He said, oh, my God, Booker, you bum. <laughs> Booker's still selling. <laughs> we love to see it. That shit funny. Take this pussy nigga out. Yo, dad, I got you. Yeah. If you like. Can't stop, won't stop. I just fucked your bitch in the Sean John tank top. Treat a bad bitch like she average. I treat a bad bitch like a fat bitch. And they never let me get money again. All my cat wingers when they get funny again. Yeah, you see, they tried to count me out. I like that. We just hit a number one. We right back. 500 down on the bottom. 500 up at the top. Titanium grills. Call that smile on the rocks. I done had everything that you're able to get. I ain't been a drill too. I ain't gonna lie, it was chopped. Hey, another one, buy you one. Then it's two and three. Vultures on repeat. This nigga's fall off is so sad, bro. I, I, it's oh decent. I like God, the beat. Bro. I like the beat. It's just like he's just not good anymore, though. Like, what what type of. <laughs> Kareem is so disappointed. I like the beat, though. His production on the. He, he changed the beat up a little bit. I like it. I mean, the beat is cool, but it's not even better than the original beat. So I. And it doesn't match the energy of the beat. Like it, I don't know, bro. I'm gonna keep listening, but this shit just not hard. Still feel like Pablo, drug dealer sheep. Pluto sent the drones, it hit like Metro Beats. It's a rap for niggas. Where's Lucien? Serve your master, nigga. You caught a little bag, but your masters didn't you? Lifetime deal, I feel bad for niggas. Bad for niggas. Y'all so out of sight, out of mind. I can't even think of a Drake line. Play J. Cole, get the pussy dry. Play this shit back 130 times. <laughs> yeah, why, is, why is J. Cole getting a stray off that for no reason? Nigga said, play J. Cole, get the pussy. Drew. Drew. <laughs> Drew. Oh, is man. that true? That's Drew. That's so funny. That's so funny. Drew, is that true? Do you play J. Cole, get the pussy dry, Drew? <laughs> True. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Dope is you like that? Like kicking those, kicking in those. Is you like that? Young throw and lows. Is you like that? All twenty four. You won't go. Is you like that? If you, the bottom really like that. If you like that. Stepping in balances. If you like that. Like that. Pop another bottle. If you like that. If you like that. He was one time. DJ Fab. Taking out to the moon, got shit and they on my feet. Banged it out like a goon, and she got me playing for keeps. G6 and strong, we take through the week. I can barely talk when I got me in my body. You don't have to say nothing, get money, you don't have it. Made it out the struggle, my hustle, I got it. Yeah, 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 yeah,
All right, that was it. So that's um, another nigga glazing. It. That shit was not dark. Uh, I'm giving that shit a hard, five. I'm giving that shit a four. Give me that shit a four. I'm gonna give it like a yeah. I'm gonna give it like a three, bro. I ain't really like it like that. Bro. It's considering that he had the original song to work with, and he had Metro. And, he could have asked Metro to read because I know what no, he was no, trying no, to do uh, with Metro, his beat. Metro now. Metro not working with him, but he, he already had the Metro beat though. Like he, no, no, he but he wanted beat. to add his own little flair to it. I kind of like what he did with the little, uh, the little. Uh, it kind of sounded like Regal and like kind of churchy, but it wasn't. It didn't. You're right. It did. It didn't flow right. You're right. It didn't flow. I feel like it could have been if that shit wasn't as loud. Maybe it could have worked. But I know what you're saying, Kareem. I know, it, it didn't really go. I like. I like that type of shit. But he said, "What's up, the old man is here." Bubble, bubble. If you like that. <laughs> What's good, Brent? What's good? He's, uh, oh, Anthony um, Edwards hit a three on KD and his shit to. Oh my God, that's what I like to see. I'm sorry. He, he, <laughs> no, you're Edwards good. Hit, you're good. You're good. You can. Anthony, you can give Anthony updates Edwards on hit a three. Something happens. Anthony Edwards hit a three on KD and was shit talking that nigga KD. He, that, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. I, I, I do like to see that. I do like to see that. They said weak Drake this uh, Cole caught shots for no reason. But Cole is too soft to respond. Yeah, what's good? What's good, Brent? Nah, th- yeah. I, this we just reacted to this Kanye uh like that remix. This shit was horrible. Kanye mm-hmm. just fell off, man. It is so sad to see. I think he used to make amazing music, and now it's just I don't I don't know what's going on with him, bro. Then the the Jews the Jews are definitely up. Them niggas are up four four <laughs> four to one right now, bro. I can't lie. The, the Jews is crazy. Are, they, they're up. They're winning, bro. I can't. He try. He pay, he's the one who picked the fight with them niggas, and his his music has never been the same. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why he wanted to pick a fight with them niggas, bro. It just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Game one, done, Suns in five. <laughs> he's a Suns fan, by the way. This nigga is down. I'm not gonna lie. Anthony Edwards hit another step back through on KD. He's hooping. He's hooping right now. And the Edwards hit another step and back. Said, and you said he's not fighting the Avengers, bro. He's on. You think you honestly think Drake needs to respond to this Kanye West diss, bro? Kanye West is not like if Kanye West is an Avenger, we're doomed. Like Kanye West part of the new Avengers now. Like what? What's the uh, Shuri, uh, Captain Mar? Like maybe those niggas, not the Avengers that I know. The Captain America, Iron Man, them niggas. They they they're all they're all gone, bro. This nigga future, what is how is he gonna diss Drake in a in a meaningful way? Nigga said <laughs> Kit Cash said Hawkeye was an Avenger. There's a reason why I didn't mention him. <laughs> Hawkeye was an Avenger. But uh Kanye was not like he just he's not even Hawkeye, bro. I think we gotta put a little bit of respect on Kanye uh, Hawkeye's name, bro, because Kanye was not even Hawkeye right now, bro. Uh, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that. It he wasn't said that no bad. auto tune, no AI, no subliminals, just straight ass. <laughs> that shit was terrible, bro. You know that shit was terrible. I like if, the, if beat. the only. No, but that's what I'm saying. If the only thing you liked about the beat was the beat, and the only funny line in that whole thing was the whole thing of play J Cole and make the pussy like, all right, bro. That's that <laughs> that line was okay, but everything else he was saying was like he said. Uh, I treat a bad bitch like she fat, like nigga. Okay. I treat a bad like, bitch like a fat bitch. What are you bitch, so saying? Like, no, 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 no. I know what he meant. So he basically said, "I'm at such a no, high level." I know what he means. It's a bad bar. I it's not it's a good hard. bar. I, That's if, not if, hard. If, you know, no, oh if, my god. No, no, cream, cream, cream. It's bad coming from Kanye. If Future said that shit on 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 on, we don't trust you. He said, "I treat a bad bitch like she a fat bitch." She, she because because that's the that's, that's the whole thing. It, maybe if Kanye's flow was good in this song, his flow was ass too. Everything was ass. His cadences I'm not were bad. Lie. If Future Everything said was that, bad. If you yeah, said, yeah. When, when Ye writes bitch, for himself, like, he's not a good rapper, bro. He, yeah, it it yeah, is what it is. Yeah. We see it. If, if if he said, "I treat a bad bitch like a," if Future said, "I treat a bad bitch like a fat bitch," she average. That would kill niggas. Oh my God, Future is the goat. Niggas would say that. Listen, listen. The reason why niggas say that to Future is because Future actually has like a rhythm in it and, and a cadence to his shit. And also, niggas don't look at Future for bars. That's what I'm saying. Like he can't really, t- he can't really hurt Drake because he can't do anything that's gonna bar Drake up. He can't do that. The only nigga who could actually, uh, who could actually uh, diss Drake is Kendrick. Like, let's be honest. They said Drake did a better job of dissing himself. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, on on that uh that new Taylor freestyle shit exactly, I, I don't know what Kanye was doing with this one, but this is a straight this is an L for me, bro. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, this is this is this is a no for me, dog. I can't lie. Nigga said Joiner. You talking about Joiner Lucas? <laughs> Joiner Lucas is a better technical. Uh, not even. I don't know. I don't think so, bro. <laughs> I can't agree with you on this Jordan one. Jordan Lucas got bars. Stop talking about nigga Jordan Lucas. He no, no, he got bars. He got bars. Uh, all right, all right, John Neal. <laughs> he got bars for real. Jordan Lucas is kind of slept on, but at the same time, like he he on that logic tier though. It's like a on that logic tier, bro. Yeah. Yeah, so I just I just ordered dinner. You know, we're making uh we're making Alaskan cot salmon. You know, with broccoli and rice. You know, Alaskan and, uh, cot cheesecake. salmon. Uh, regular, uh, regular it, cheesecake, chopped top, top with char- strawberries, whatever. Top with, it's top with strawberries. Tori for doing no, t- no Tori. Tori not doing top. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. well, let me see. Nigga, no, nigga. So you don't want none. Shut your fat ass. No, George. You're going to eat, dude. George, shut up. <laughs> no, because George is like, well, let me see what you ordered, nigga. No, nigga, you're going to eat it. Like, <laughs> oh, this is a good sack, bro. <laughs> they said, who, who is going to look? I thought he was going to come out again. Oh, but I dragged so I that nigga in like they I, beef. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. They, yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. So I, I got to. Um, I gotta so I, I gotta I, I gotta log off, but it's been a, I think it's been a good stream, an hour and ten minutes. You know, yeah, I, yeah, hour and ten I, I minutes. I gotta, I gotta prepare for dinner. Yeah. You know, I gotta start making the rice. You know, um, if there's anything else that drops, me and Kareem, I, we can't say for Drew. If anything else drops, me and Kareem are gonna react to it. We don't know about Drew. Drew got his own shit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, yeah, Drew will be here tomorrow though. So for the, for those of you who want who want to see that nigga. I don't know why you want to see his face so bad. And we'll, we'll do our. We'll, <laughs> we'll also tomorrow we'll do our NBA playoff prediction bracket. So because oh yeah, we'll do that too. Yeah. And then yeah. if if Kendrick decides he wants to drop tomorrow, we're definitely. Why would he drop on a Sunday? Why would he? I don't know, bro, bro, bro. You never know with these dudes. Didn't Drake drop on a Monday? Like it just. Drake. Oh, all right, I guess. I guess you're right. Anthony Cream. Anthony Edwards had 18 points in the third quarter, bro. They said Kim K on the clock. He said and have what? He had 18 points in the third quarter. <laughs> 18 no, nigga, n- no, niggas are doing that meme. Remember in Cars 3 where it's all like uh, Lightning McQueen is losing to that nigga. They're saying Anthony Edwards yeah, and Devin Booker yeah, as the yeah. best shooting guard in the league. Oh, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Funny. It's looking nasty, bro. That's funny. Listen. But I got a dip. That's it was funny. a good stream, though. Good stream. All right. Yeah, what? We'll, we'll, all right, catch you later. I'll, I'll respond to some of these, these comments real quick. They said, "What what's up with this Kim Kim K shit uh, and and Taylor though? Like, can someone can someone tell me about that?" They said, "Keep hope alive." Like, King Cash, man, I'm keeping my hope alive, man. I told you, I'm giving Kendrick three weeks to respond, bro. Three weeks to respond. My guy, uh, Drake fit with all them dogs. <laughs> that is true. That is true for uh for Shaq, bro. That nigga, that nigga, a pure Drake fan, bro. <laughs> no, nah, but no, nah, he. I think he. I don't even know to be honest. He said Drake background success, um, name form discovery means it resulted in your fate. What are you saying, bro? Three weeks is crazy. Sell we sell that too. No, because Drake took three weeks. I don't. I don't understand why. Why we're not giving an ample like the the same amount of time. If Drake takes three weeks to respond, we give Kendrick three weeks to respond. Like I, to me, I feel like that's just fair. You get what I'm saying? Because people say he has a four year old diss track, but if it's four year four years old, he has to add a whole bunch of like it's basically worthless at this point because so much shit has happened in four years. Like there's no reason to be dropping a four year old diss track unless you're just trying to lose. Cop one or the cop one or the other. Wait, what are you talking? I don't even know what you're saying, bro. You got to reword this, bro. I don't know what the fuck this means, bro. They said Drake was letting Cole handle his beef first. He don't jump niggas. No, no, no. That's the thing. I don't think I don't think Kendrick was trying to jump him. To be honest, I think Metro Boomin was trying to jump him, and he just got a bunch of niggas there. But the only other nigga who could actually who actually did something to Drake is probably ASAP Rocky. And if you notice, 
Ace he Drake did not respond to ASAP Rocky. Booker finally made a shot too a little too late, bro. How long did Drake take after the apology? I don't know. It was probably like two. It was probably two weeks. It was probably like two weeks. But Drake was using J. Cole to hide out. So I don't like if he's if he's using another nigga to hide out, then it, I mean, it is what it is. You get what I'm saying? It's not like it's not like uh, uh there's another nigga that he's using that. um. Uh, What's his name? Kendrick is using the hideout. Visiting fates. Bro, use the whole sentence and explain what you mean because I have no idea what you're saying. You're just saying visiting fades, yo. Like, I don't know what that means. Does anybody know what he's trying to say, bro? I have no idea what you what you mean, bro. He said Kendrick used no Rick Ross responded in literally two hours and niggas was saying his controller was unplugged. <laughs> Nobody cared about Rick Ross, bro. <laughs> and then Rick Ross is talking about BBL Drizzy on, on 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 what's it called thing. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like the only thing is uh, Rick Ross, he made a hilarious meme though. They said these whack rappers better stop responding. Uh, for Kendrick with AI, I'm saying, bro, that shit nasty. I keep seeing Kendrick shut. I'm like, oh, did he finally respond? And it's just AI. He says sometimes he pop. Bro, I still, bro, full sentences, bro. I still don't know what you're saying. <laughs> What's going on, bro? They said, uh, Drake said, nah, I'm handling that nigga uh, that matters first. But, uh, I mean, the thing is, Rick Ross said something. He didn't respond to him. Uh, what's it called? Also, uh, ASAP Rocky said something. He didn't respond to him either. He said Drake and Ross really went uh, mansion for mansion on Instagram. Yeah, they were just having a petty Instagram beef. Like, it, it didn't matter what Rick Ross said. I'm going to be honest with you. They said Kendrick wanted to smoke. Drake was on tour and let J. Cole make his track first. This man finished tour and responded. Kendrick looked like a clown for not saying nothing. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. People are gonna say this until Kendrick responds, and if it's a good response, nobody's gonna remember how long it took Kendrick to respond. If it's if it's within this three weeks, bro, nobody's really gonna remember that, especially if it's a really good diss track. So that's why for me, I just feel like it doesn't it doesn't really matter too much as long as he he does it in the uh in the thing. That's what that's my whole point. That's why I'm saying. Drake saying 20 v one that shit was strategic as hell. That's that was a hard bar, hard bar. But let's be honest, the only nigga that's going to affect his legacy is Kendrick. So that's the only nigga he actually is fighting. That's the only nigga he actually responds to. Yeah, of course, it better be crazy. Yes, I agree with you. It better be a crazy response. But I think that's why he's taking so long on it. You know what I'm saying? Nigga said he wanted it and we can't tell. I mean, listen, I said we'll give him three weeks. We we gotta wait three weeks. That nigga Drake fiending for a response. I don't know if maybe he can't sleep at night. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm just playing. But maybe, maybe he can't. I don't know. Maybe he can't take the pressure. I don't know what's going on. Maybe he needs that response. But we'll we'll see what's going on, man. We'll see. I feel like Kendrick going to drop a bomb on him, bro. And I feel like when he does, nobody's going to be talking about how long it took him to respond. And the same thing with Drake. Like, he took three weeks. People were on his head, like, for the first few days and the first week. And then even the second week, they were like, all right, Drake, like, what are you going to do? Are you going to respond? Now Drake responded and nobody cares about the amount of time it really took him to respond. As long as it's not like like anything over like like a month or, or something like that, like a month and a half. Like, I feel like Kendrick is fine. Like, anything over a month is crazy. For a response time, but I feel like within that three week threshold, I feel like it's fine. And also, somebody was saying he dropped an album in May or some shit. I don't know. But he better just drop it in the beginning of May. I think that's when he's going to drop. And I, I, I think that that's a good time for him to drop it anyways. Yeah, Drake definitely has something devious. For sure. For sure. For sure. And that's why, for me, I also think that if Kendrick had a four-year-old track and Drake is pressuring him like this and he knows Drake is going to respond with something good, I would divvy up the shit that you say on each track so that you have a bomb on both tracks. Because if you blow all your shit off on one track, unless it's that crazy, 
and then Drake comes back with another crazy shit. And 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 then um, you know what I'm saying? They come back with another crazy shit, and then you have nothing left. You might lose off that. So you need to divvy up what you're gonna say. And I feel like that's why it's taking Kendrick a decent amount of time to respond. Because it's not just this response. You have to think in ahead. Like like everybody's saying, it's chess moves. They said they said Kendrick got to drop an album like J Cole. Hey Amen. When, when you when you fight it when you fight niggas, it is what it is, bro. It better be good though. That's the whole thing. Now now the album has to be good. If he's gonna drop a response with the album, now the whole album has to be good. I feel like he's putting more pressure on himself, but I don't know why he's doing that. If that's true, but that's what I've heard from some sources. From uh, not any not any TD. I'm not plugged into TD or anything, but from like from po some from some podcasts that like you know know more about the music industry they said it took uh kendrick five months to say fuck the big three well i will say though that's that's really just because the that's when the uh the song came out we don't know when he recorded that verse or anything and on top of that i mean it came out when it came out because nobody was really dissing him so he had ample time to just drop it like that verse like that really doesn't mean much bro he been popping on god Noodles, Cole, and Uzi. I still don't know what this nigga's saying, bro. He said, when was the last good Kendrick album? To me personally, I thought Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers was decent. I didn't think it was a particularly trash album. Now, did it hold up to uh, Kendrick's last, like, tw like Damn, or To Pimp a Butterfly, or Good Kid, Mad City. I don't think it held up to any of those, to be honest with you. Uh, I still think it was decent, though. But if you want to say that Dan was his last best album, that's just 2017. Can't lie. They said, damn. They said Drake been ducking smoke for a decade. Now that the pressure's on him, he's trying to change the perspective. Drake is sneaky. That, I, I will say, though, I will say, though, I mean, Kendrick did start it, so, I mean, it is what it is. Both of them haven't really really came out and said it. It's true that Drake has been throwing shots at everybody in subliminals and shit. He said, when a fan says it's decent, you know it's trash. Listen, I thought it was good. I don't think it's trash. I, I, I the thing is I'm pretty I'm pretty uh objective in my perspective when it comes to like music. I, I don't really I don't really dick ride niggas to be honest with you. If it's not if I don't think it's that great, it's not that great, bro. I'm not gonna just cope because it's Kendrick. And say it's great when it really it was just it was just pretty good it wasn't it wasn't great though they said dot ain't scared of drizzy i mean we'll see he got to respond we'll see how long it takes him to respond but i do think we're gonna get a response now if he doesn't respond this shit gonna look very crazy this is gonna look very crazy i will be honest with you but i will say drake is very smart in the way that he does things first he puts out um he first he he has control of the media. Then nigga DJ Academics is a direct link, so he gets to say whatever he wants through the media. But it looks like it's not really coming from Drizzy. So that's a, that's one thing that's also really good. And you know what I'm saying? It, it like he 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 makes he makes a lot of good chess moves. Like he's trying to get Kendrick to respond so that maybe he puts too much in his first diss track so that the second diss track comes out. He doesn't really have anything. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of things that you have to think about and plan and that's another thing like what drunk said when meek took two weeks to respond they killed him now meek is probably one of the dumbest rappers of all time he had one of the greatest uh lines he could have put in a disc in a disc record at the time and he decided to do it on twitter which doesn't make any sense but i mean it is what it is they said uh duck and smoke kendrick the one duck and smoke he said four niggas names in the control verse and when they all were, well no he nobody none of those niggas responded Uh, none, none of those none of those niggas really responded though i don't think they said meek meek want to know uh meeks want to know what's so bad yeah that shit was horrible that shit was horrible that nigga was tweaking i, I don't know what that's i don't know what he was on apparently he was supposed to be a battle rapper when did they respond bro they didn't they didn't like openly respond that's what that's what started the drake beef because he was like if it's beef it's beef you get what I'm saying? They didn't respond. Yeah, I, I know he doesn't know, but I mean, it is what it is. They they didn't respond. 
all the other niggas who he didn't name responded. It was a bunch of other niggas who he didn't name that responded, but the actual niggas he named, none of them responded. This nigga talking about y'all know who they're too scared to to, to this Cardi. The yeah, the control verse. Nobody responded to that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like none of the niggas he called out in that verse responded to it because the, Drake was mad because he was like, well, if it's gonna be like that then why why are we like friends it's got to be real beef so he didn't respond uh j cole you know j cole didn't respond uh the other nigga uh what's it called uh what's what's his name what's his name uh j electronica he said some shit and then he said sorry like he he said sorry to kendrick like it it didn't nothing really nobody responded and then like it went badly for kendrick and otherwise niggas would know about that they said, what happened to Shaq? Shaq had to go uh, make some dinner. I just wanted to stay on and talk about this because I, I had some things I wanted to say. They said, Lupe said, Kendrick, don't make great diss tracks. You make great diss moments. And that's the thing. We got to see. To be honest, we got to. Kendrick, he has some allegations he got to beat. This is a valid allegation for now because we've never seen him. We've never seen him. What's it called? Uh, Actually put out a diss record. Lupe Fiasco, he didn't. Lupe Fiasco was not named on the track why would you respond to niggas who aren't named he didn't name lupe fiasco lupe fiasco just wanted some clout bro like it is what it is lupe fiasco amazing rapper don't get me wrong but he wasn't named on that diss track so it doesn't matter if he says anything just like joe button when he said some shit his shit was pretty decent too like a bunch of niggas who weren't named said some shit but it wasn't like niggas that he named that's what i'm trying to say so he didn't have to go after them he said Kareem LeBron. Uh, I, I wouldn't say LeBron. I just had some things I wanted to. I just wanted to talk about this stuff because I, I felt it was pretty interesting. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they said because Drake came out in an interview saying that he felt hurt by the control verse. Yeah, yeah. He, that's that's what he said. He was like, well, I mean, if it's going to be beef, it's going to be beef. You get what I'm saying? Because they knew he, he who he was talking about. Drake was never named. Drake was named in the control verse, bro. Was he? I think I'm pretty sure he was named in the control verse, bro. I'm gonna look up the lyrics right now. Drake gotta chill with the disses till K Dot respond because he's one more track away from being corny. <laughs> <laughs> that's it i mean it is what it is man like i agree with you on that like i, I do think that the the whole ai tupac shit was kind of whack like I, I guess like it was it was all right it was like whatever but i mean it's looking kind of crazy it's looking kind of desperate i just wanted to keep i just wanted to uh just just chat it up a little bit um drew drew wasn't here this whole stream and Shaq had to go make dinner so i'm just i'm just here right now you know what i'm saying It's say Kevin for Drake so hard he forgetting the facts. I mean, it is what it is. Like maybe he just didn't know. Like I'm not gonna say he a dumbass because he didn't know. Like, are you like are you? Does that make you dumb if you don't know something about uh like uh what happened in the lyrics of a song? He just doesn't know. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna call him dumb. Though he is being very uh very bold for somebody who really doesn't really know. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. All right, let's let's look at this. Let's look at this. All right, where did he talk about it? Okay, so he said Jermaine Cole, Big Crit, Wale. Can you guys see it? Okay. Yeah, he said Jermaine Cole, Big Crit, Wale, Pusha T, Meek Mill, ASAP Rocky, Drake, Big Sean, J Electron, Tyler, and Mac Miller. Now, according to my knowledge, none of these niggas said anything, and yes, he did name Drake. He said, I went to uh <laughs> he said, I went to Discord looking for sons getting blown out memes, didn't see nothing, then realize y'all lot. Yeah. <laughs> the sons, bro, that nigga Devin Booker just not hard, bro. Like it just is what it is, bro. He said, I like Drake's angle because um you could tell he wrote all the verses as the ghostwriter. And he has the ghostwriter ac accusation, but he's running for ghost. Yeah, I thought that was kind of funny. 
He said, don't fake the funk, Joshua. I'm going to drop a diss track. <laughs> Why are you dropping a diss track on him? Because he just said some some information that wasn't necessarily true. Like, <laughs> they all spoke for no reason. They said, if you say, no, you don't know. Big Sean was in the studio. <laughs> yeah, Big Sean. Big, I, I don't understand how he, he approved that verse on his own song, but I, it is what it is. This shit is funny. But yeah, that's that's the whole thing with that that verse. But at the same time, I understand Drake's standpoint in saying like, well, you know, it, he said Drake said like, oh, what's it called? Well, if it's beef, let it be beef. Like, why are you just trying to like say some shit and we're, we actually don't have beef? So I can understand that. But now the beef is coming to fruition. And now we got to see the pressures on Kendrick. We got to see what Kendrick has. We, we got to see what he has, bro. You said Big Sean was on it, was in the studio. Yeah. <clears throat> but anything, anything else y'all want to uh, discuss before I head off? You know what I'm saying? Anything else? Y'all want uh, a take on, especially with this whole beef shit. Also with, uh, I will say though, with Drake, with the AI shit, my whole thing is, um, I thought I thought it was kind of, I thought some of the the lines and shit was pretty clever. It was pretty funny, but I will say, I I just don't like the fact that um, it sets a bad precedent in terms of niggas putting words in 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 uh, people's mouths that didn't really say anything. You get what I'm saying? And using it for their own gain for something as petty as a diss track. Like I, I don't know about that one, but that's that's my whole thing on that. That's my whole thing on that. But anyways, I think that it's been a good stream. If you guys don't really have anything else to say, you know what I'm saying? I'll catch y'all next time. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to stream. It's going to be all three of us. Do I think the beef is staged? No, I do think it's real beef. I mean, this they uh, Metro Boomer wouldn't have got uh, ASAP Rocky on the second uh, We Still Don't Trust You uh, talking about how he fucked Drake's ba baby mom and shit like that. I feel like it's real. But um, how how real it is? I mean, you, nobody's ever gonna know. But I do think that it's real beef. That that's why Drake's Drake's been fiending for it. That's why Kendrick's been saying all this shit. I mean, they they've been they've been trying to go back at each other for a while. To get yeah, I agree that the numbers have low been lower than they've they've been, and I do think that that's part of it, obviously. But I also do think that this beef has been brewing for a while, and I think that it's been a combination of things that's making them go at it right now so i do agree with you i do think that this is part of the reason like the numbers being low in hip-hop is part of the reason but i also do think that um i also do think that also kendrick and drake it's been brewing for for a while now and also that like it, it seems like niggas in the industry are not fucking with something drake did it's i do think that there's been a catalyst that have been behind uh closed doors hopefully we find out you said there's a vid uh about that um talking about it might be staged i mean the whole thing is like people are always going to speculate it for it being staged but i don't know i don't think shots and, and we'll see based on how kendrick responds and how drake responds after that we'll see if we can really say if it's staged or not but i i don't as of now i don't think that it's staged i do think they had have have had a problem for a while they said Kendrick dropping in May. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Kendrick dropping. They, they're saying that Kendrick dropping the album in May. But they did also say like a whole bunch of other shit. So we'll just see, to be honest. We'll see what happens. But if it's if he's dropping an album in May, it better be at the beginning of May. He said, right. I feel like uh, they're killing mumble rap and bringing hip hop back to its core. Oh, yeah, I agree. I feel like it's also a, like a good reset in terms of like, okay, well, this is real hip hop. And you know you gotta bar you gotta have you gotta bar it up, bro. You gotta have at least some bars in your hip hop because recently it's been like a bunch of people who's been crooning and auto tune, and like that's cool for a vibe. But and when it's when it's hip hop, when it's beef, you gotta you gotta say some you gotta say some real shit on the track. You know what I'm saying? They said, hey, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I agree with you, Brent. Like that that's exactly what it is. You gotta say some real shit on the track, man. You gotta you gotta give us some bars. Yeah, twenty 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 three was a terrible year. So it's great that we have this to kinda like 
put us back on track, especially when it comes to hip hop. Because after 2023, I was feeling like, damn, I don't really even care about hip hop anymore. But now it's like I've been like re uh, re energized into the whole thing. You said, I think Kendrick going to drop something uh, light then Drake kind of come with a haymaker then dot. But I don't think either is going to have a headshot for the other. I agree. I, I don't I don't know if anyone's going to have a headshot for the other, to be honest. But I, I will say, though, a lot of shit is known about Drake. Not that much shit is known about Kendrick. So if you're looking from the angle of like a secret thing that niggas don't really know, I don't know. Drake might have some shit. That's the only thing that I feel like Drake can really headshot Kendrick with if it's something so bad that um, it's like, you know what I'm saying? That it's like, damn, we 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 just look at him completely differently. But I do think that this is just going to end up going multiple rounds and then this, the fan bases are going to be splintered on who's going to win. That's what I think is eventually going to happen. They said Playboy Cardi was ruining the flow. We go back on. We back on now. That's funny. They said they're both great artists. Yeah, they're both they're both extremely talented, great artists, to be honest. And I honestly think that Drake's latest like this is good for Drake because Drake's latest output hasn't really been up to his standard. So to see Drake come back like this and actually like focus on the craft and like care about the bars now, like, I, I I do like seeing that. Yeah, 2023 did have the lowest numbers for hip hop. Yeah. But I will say if you look at who dropped in 2023, it wasn't a lot of big hip hop artists who dropped if if I'm not mistaken. Uh so that that could be another factor too. Yeah, I'm just going to search it up to see if I'm right. Drop in 2023. Which hip hop albums dropped in 2023? Yeah, so Scaring the Hoes. Uh, all right, there was Utopia. But Utopia did a bunch of numbers. But if you really think about it, none of the, I don't think any of the big three really dropped. So that could be another reason why. They said Snoop about to hit up Drake. <laughs> I'm gonna need that back. I'm saying, bro, I don't even know how that's gonna work because there's no like legislation on the whole AI shit. Like, is he gonna get the feature? Like, I don't know. Drake opened a can of words with that with that whole thing. Like, what is what about Tupac's estate? Like, can they like take down the track and like can they sue him for it? Like, I I don't understand really like what's gonna happen with that. But I, I don't know what the implication of that is gonna be. It's it's interesting. They said 2024, we come back to, uh, we came back to number one with like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's, I think like that's still number one, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Billboard top 100. Yeah, like that is still number one. It's been number one for three weeks. So, yeah. I mean, it was a good ass song with a good diss on it. Makes sense. But anyways. I think that um, it's been a good chat. I, I do actually want to go watch the NBA playoffs. You know what I'm saying? So I'll catch y'all on the next stream. Next stream is, will be tomorrow. So it's not going to be like a huge layoff or anything. Uh, If. Uh. It's basically mimicry. You can't sue a comedian for doing an impression, they, and they can make money off the joke. Okay, they said so. Beef is good for hip hop. Exactly, beef is always good. It's it's always been good for hip hop. I mean, when Eminem was beefing with niggas, it was good for him and hip hop. When uh Tupac and Biggie were dissing, it, it it was good for hip hop. Like it's always good for hip hop, bro. And you can keep going back. I think LL Cool J diss some was 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 beefing with somebody. It's always good for hip hop, bro. But I'll catch y'all guys next. I'll catch y'all next time. I will be here tomorrow, probably around the same time, probably like four ET, four four o'clock Eastern time, maybe three o'clock Eastern time. But I'll catch y'all uh, tomorrow because I, I got some shit to do. But it's been good uh, chatting uh, with y'all about uh, the recent disses and shit like that. But you know what I'm saying? I'll be back. Did you hear the way I diss from CB? No.
we could we might we might just listen to that tomorrow to be honest or something like that just remind us okay just remind me and i'll i'll try to uh fit it in but we'll catch you i'll catch you next time you know what i'm saying i'll catch y'all next time all right bring riff all right uh patrick ford bison all y'all niggas you know what i'm saying we'll, i'll catch y'all Oh, the Quavo. Yeah, we heard that one. The first Quavo disc? Yeah, we heard that one. It's actually in a in a past stream. I'll probably make that a video too. I'm kind of behind on videos right now, but I'll probably make that a video. Deuces. Yeah, all right, bro. Catch you.